Hello everybody, what is going on? Classy Video Games here, bringing you a horror, indie horror game called Life After Us, The System. Uh, I was just browsing around on Game Jolt and I found this game and I thought it looked like fun, so I figured we'd jump right into it. Let's go over here and press play. Drive, okay, it's a click. I have been tasked with retrieving the grand granddaughter of Mrs. Hemington. I have been told the girl is in her late 20s, but due to her mental Ill illness, she has the mind of a child. She is believed to have returned to Hawthorne Sanitarium, where she was once a patient. I will search the asylum for the girl and return with her or something. Okay, it says press F1 for controls. Flashlight, forward, backwards, straight. Okay. Uh, pretty, pretty simple controls. Okay, and it seems like tab is pause, I guess. So if I want to stop, I can stop. And it's kind of weird. I don't know. Turn my flashlight on and off. Let's see. Can I interact with this door? Can I interact with this door? I can't open doors. What's with the ground there? What's happening to the ground? Ground, are you okay? <gasps> Do you need to go to a... Wow, I didn't realize I made such a loud noise when I jumped. Um. Is there anything in the cupboard? Anything in the cupboard? Any, anything in the cupboard? I don't think so. Okay, so looks like we have a lot of junk. Kind of your standard old people on the wall. Probably important. Looks important. Let's see. I made a new friend today, Dr. Tar. He says I'm very pretty. He kept touching my hair. He must really like it. That's creepy. <gasps> you should probably, like, not hang out with him. <gasps> Is there a... <gasps> A thing back here that I should be looking for? Like, is that a, No, that's just a... Uh, I'm trapped on a mattress. Are you serious? Way to go, indie developers. Way to, way to make a game, indie developers. What's over this way? Door. Um, block... Is that ammo bags? No, no, I'm used to playing Call of Duty stuff. I'll take ammo. Someone pulled out their drawer. Someone dropped their drawers. Let's see. Grandmother sent me here. She says I'm not being a proper young woman. She says I'm acting like a child, but I'm only a child. She gets so mad when I say that. This place is strange. This place is strange, I'm sure. Again, more boxes of something. People keep dropping drawers all over the place. Top secret. I want it. I want in. I want in. Let me punch it or something. I have a health meter, which makes me believe I'm going to take damage at some point. Um, anybody? Anything? Anything? Okay. Okie dokie then. There's nothing back there. Wait, wait. Is that a pillow? Can I grab the pillow? Can I interact with the pillow? Let me interact with pillow. I want to interact with pillow. There, there, pillow. It's going to be okay. I know it's scary in here. What, why is there blood? Somebody peed in there. And it was bloody. I don't know. Do I want to go here? Do I want to go here? Is that door going to close on me or something? Am I looking for something? Can I interact with... Is there something back here? It's just darkness. Me in the darkness. Wow, I sprint really fast. Okay. Nothing in the drawers. Let's go ahead. In here. A bloody no- Mr. Teddy should be here. I don't like it here. A mean woman took Mr. Teddy away. She said I'm too old for silly things like toys. He's not a toy. He's my best friend. I can't sleep without Mr. Teddy. I wish someone would bring him back. I need him next to my bed. Journal entry. Find Mr. Teddy. Okay. I assume this is where the scary stuff begins? Well, as long as we're going to find a comfort item, let's be comforted in finding Mr. Teddy. At least it's very well lit in here. Like, like I could turn off my flashlight. It's really very bright. Anybody in here? What's... Mr. Teddy? 
Miss Dr. Tar told me to meet him in his office and not to tell anyone. He put his hands on me and when he touched and touched me and, and smiled. He didn't I didn't like where he was touching me, but he said it was part of an examination to make me feel better. It's one of those doctors. I don't think you should be friends with him anymore. He's not a nice guy. Okay. Where do I go? Is there a door I'm supposed to be opening? Do I open a door? Do I open? Do I have to bring Mr. Teddy back? Do I have to bring Mr. Teddy back? Um, hold on, let me turn down my volume. I don't want it off, but I just want it lower, because it's very loud. It's still very loud. Oh. Jeez. It's like it's either all the way on or all the way off. Can I place Mr. Teddy? What? I black out and upon awakening I find myself still in the asylum, but something is wrong. The darkness surrounds me and I feel as if I am not alone. I must find the girl as soon as I can. Okay. Let's, uh... Here's the darkness we expect in a horror game. Okay. Is this the same place I came from originally? Is this the same place? That's where Mr. Teddy was. Oh no, it's Mr. Pillow. Mr. Pillow. Mr. Pillow, you came back for me. You wait there. You keep this place on lockdown, okay? Ugh. Man, this place got creepy when it got dark. Dr. Tar came to visit me at night. He kept saying I was very pretty, then he got in bed on top of me. He was telling me not to make any noise, but it hurt. He got mad when I shouted in pain and he hit me. He visits every night now. Ugh, what? Make me pretty. He wants me to be pretty, 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 pretty. Do I... Do I do anything? Is there a guy outside the door now? Or what? Is there a thing? There's a thing somewhere. I'm missing, aren't I? Have to interact. Do I have to find her head or something? What do I do? Do I go back in here? I don't want to go back in there. Got really dark. I don't like this. I don't like this anymore. Jeez. Sorry, that was silly of me. It's just a loud. <laughs> Where is it? What is it? Whoa. Should I be afraid? Should I be afraid of you? <coughs> I should. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Barfy Monster. I can't jump anymore. Where'd Mr. Barfy Monster go? Okay, my health is back. Okay. Okay. Well then, um, how entertaining. I mean, that guy startled me, but he's not really, it's not really scary, I guess. I guess it startled me, but that's about it. Okay, that's scarier than anything. That's the scariest thing that's happened so far. And I think that is a good place to end it at whatever that is. So I uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, ooh, uh, uh. What? Oh, okay. It's just getting creepier. Okay. Well, anyways, um, me and the mannequins say, uh, say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.